Hi everybody. In this tutorial I'm going to show us how to create uh, molding using this using the loft tool in Maya. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press spacebar because we need to get into our either front view or side view. I'm going to go to the front view right over here. I'm going to press spacebar and bring that up really large. And we're going to make sure that we are on the drop down called surfaces. Normally we're on polygons, but we'll be on surfaces. And I'm going to come over to the create up at the top of the menu, create. And we're going to get to the EP curve tool. And we kind of have to think about, you know, looking at a piece of molding, what it'll look like if you were looking directly straight down it. So here's our y axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to press a point. I'm going to start over here, and I'm going to click some more points, and I'm going to kind of come in, and then maybe come out, just like that. Now press Enter, and you kind of see, this is kind of what a piece of molding might look like if we were looking straight down it. I press Enter when I'm finished clicking my points, and I'm going to go back to our perspective view. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to move it over. So let's take our move tool. I'm going to move it over here. And this is very large, so I'm going to also scale it down. About this small. Okay. Next, I'm going to select it, get my move tool ready, and I'm going to Control D or Apple D to duplicate it, and I'm going to move another one over here. So now I have two. You can see. I'll select both of them at the same time, drag a big box and get both, or you can select one, hold Shift, and select another. When you're selected on both of them, one will be green, one will be in white, and we're going to go up to surfaces. And again, this is while we're on the drop-down surfaces, we'll have the choice up here of the menu, surfaces, and we'll go to loft. And what happens is it's going to connect them. Now I'll press 5 to fill that in, but yours may already be filled in. And here it is. I'm going to select off, and there's my molding. Okay, so if I select one of these splines and move it, it's going to change the molding. So we kind of want to get rid of uh, it understanding that it's made from these splines. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our shape right from the center, our molding, and I'm going to go up to Edit, Delete by Type, and the History. So when you do that, it basically disconnects it from our splines and lets it just be a regular object. So now I can get rid of these splines. I'm going to select them, get rid of them. All right, here's our molding. And this is what we would save, file save as or save scene as. And I would name this molding. I'm going to cancel that though, but you would save this file. Then you would open up your room and you would go file import and you would import the scene and it'll go right into your room you would have to scale it down and make it fit I would duplicate it move it put it on all sides of our wall the three sides that we can see and good luck I think uh, I think this should do it any questions please uh, email me but I think this will be okay all right I uh, have this finished by the time we get back